Welcome to this episode of What's Happening with Wapaka. I am Joni Kern. We are talking with Aaron Jensen today. Welcome back to the show. We actually haven't seen you in a while. No, it's been a long time. It has been. Yeah. But it's Fallorama time of year. It is. Yeah, we're about a month out. So yeah. time flies. Third Saturday of September. Right, September 16th, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Um, I can tell you that we have about 10 more vendors than our largest year so far in the past five years, so that's Fabulous. great. Fabulous. Um, we're excited about that. We're going to try to do a little something different in the concessions this year. In the past, we've sold burgers, hot dogs, brats, things like that. Right. Uh, we're going to try to get some food trucks there, maybe three or four different food trucks with different types of things to offer to maybe be a draw, plus take some vendor spaces. Uh, right now we have two, so we're working on getting more. You got the cheese curds coming back. The cheese curds are coming back. That's yep. a big, that's a big, there's that a is. huge line there. That's right, I know, I stand in that line, so I know, so I know all I. about it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so we have, uh, we have other activities going on, same type of family activities that we've had in the past. Uh, kind of an exciting thing is the fire department has always done that Jaws of Life demonstration, mm -hmm. which has really been a big hit. They get a wrecked car, uh, they show how the Jaws of Life works, and they do that two or three times over the course of the day. Well, they're doing something a little different this year. They're going to have like a, a hose hooked up, a fire hose, and they're going to have like an interactive game where kids can come up, use the fire hose, spray something, knock it down. Um, so that'll be neat for the kids to kind of uh, oh. get a hold of. Oh, yeah. I mean, I would stand in that line. Yeah. Because I've never right. operated a fire hose. How fun would that be? Right. Yeah, yeah. I think you've... You, they, kicks back some pressure. So I, I, I know gotta, I'd end up halfway across the parking lot. Right, I think some of the kids will need some help. So <laughs> yeah. no, that'll be that'll be fun. And we always appreciate their willingness to come out and spend oh, all yeah. day out there with us. Uh, they're a huge draw for the Yes, event. yeah, they are. And an important part of the community. And I think they're teaching people. Yes. You know, if you can if you can see a wrecked car mm -hmm. firsthand, mm -hmm. I think it gives you a little bit different perspective on the pictures that you see of yeah. auto accidents. So I think they're able to do that as well as have a ton of fun. Mm -hmm. And teaching with fun is the way to get people to learn. I agree. Yeah, I, I, I think that's a big component. I think they, they also hand out a lot of fire safety stuff. Uh, I think they try to coincide it with Fire Safety Month. and. Uh, so they get a lot of stuff in the community that day. It's, it's great. So what else is going on there this year? Uh, we have, like last year, we had, I think last year was our first year with a magician who kind of walked around the park and did some things. He also does balloon animals. Um, so he will be back for the kids. Um, we have live music. Uh, Dr. Doby is going to be there in the morning. And we have Rod Frankovis, who's been a big hit as well. Uh, he's going to be there from 1230 to 3. Um, we have, we're kind of finalizing some of the other demos and events. Um, we're going to do kind of a sand uh, box play area in front of the Falks Brothers trucks. Falks Brothers will be coming uh, and ha having the kids climb around their trucks like they did last year. Yeah. Uh, and then we're going to do that, that kind of sand exploratory area in front of that so the kids can dig through, find a, a certain toy or a certain uh, whatever we decide they're going to look for, and then that'll correspond with the prize. So, so it's some interactive things for the kids, and that'll be kind of secondary to the main Fabulous. attraction, which is the vendors, of course. Of course, and there's a little bit of everything there from um, signs and homemade decorations for your house to food to... Right, I think there's some wood carving this year, and some, yeah, it's, it's a little bit of everything. So. Mm -hmm. I bought a really cool sign there last year, and it was, I mean, it's very reasonably priced. Mm -hmm. A lot of places you go to are very expensive. Mm -hmm. And these, you know, I walk around the vendors every year because I'm there with the Humane Society and and they read, there's really, really nice stuff. That's good, that's great. That's, that's great. Good. We hear the same thing um, yeah. and the vendors are usually happy with the crowds that come through. Mm -hmm. So we just hope to keep it going. And if we can get five to 10 more vendors each year, uh, that's a big plus for us. Especially where the park is beautiful as South mm -hmm. Park. So mm -hmm. to be able to grow that is mm -hmm. fabulous. Yes. And the food is great there. Yeah, it has been, and now it'll be different with the food trucks, so it'll right. be great in a different way, we're hoping. Um, the other thing I do want to mention, we are going to have a bounce house, or actually I think two or three bounce houses for the kids, so that should be a big hit. Um, 
and I know I'm forgetting a bunch of stuff, but I think we covered most of it. Well, so. everything else is going to have to be a surprise, so you have to come there and get a surprise. I do spend all day there. It is almost always a beautiful day yes, because the good. third Saturday of September, the weather is just starting to cool off some, mm -hmm. and it's under all of the trees in South Park. Yeah, it's a nice, so. it's usually a pretty nice time of year. So hopefully, Sounds hopefully good. we get lucky again. Sounds good. Thank you so much for joining us for this episode of What's Happening in Wapaka. I'm Joni, and we'll see you next time.